it should be a quick one. These guys are going into a, um, a concrete hive and another new apiary. I know we had an, in our last episode probably I mentioned we've just put two massive hives that were donated to us into a new apiary. Sweet. On the inside out. Okay. What was I saying? Okay, we've got that new apiary. Um, we've got the two big hides that we got donated. We've just put them there. The place we're going tonight is another new apiary. We've got four concrete hives on there. I've never used the concrete hives. Um, they have come highly recommended, uh, especially for bushfire fires as well as temperature regulation. They say that the, the concrete hive, the bees seem to cope quite well with them. And then also, if you've got honey badgers, the honey badgers don't seem to be able to get inside. That's gonna be something new for us. Anyway, enjoy this episode. And remember, if you get value out of it or you're entertained, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe with the notifications bell and you'll get uh, notified when we upload another episode. Of course I want to wear a suit. I'm not taking that risk again. <laughs> so I imagine what happens is they get knocked over somewhere or a tree that falls or a building that gets de de demolished and then they send out little oaks to go look for a space where to live. Well, Isn't what, it? And then yeah, that, that's one wrecking. way. The, okay. the, the more common way is the swarm that, or the colony that was in wherever it was in has got too big for the space. And they so, got kicked out. So what happens is the the colony decides to create a new queen okay. and then when the old queen sees there's a new queen then she takes as many of the workers and leaves with what she can and then that new queen gets born and she carries on in the original hive and the old queen finds a new place. But I mean they, they, were, they got to go look first. They don't yeah, yeah. just mess her, go away. Yeah, yeah. she sends the scouts out. Scouts out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then, like you said, you saw the cloud of bees, yes. and then they were gone. Gone, so they because they knew exactly where they needed to go. go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a peak. Oh, drop a good amount there, dude. Okay. Well, they're not on the lid anymore. Yeah. Okay. That's not what we wanted. No. There's nothing on the Slip those guys in. Those guys are crawling up nicely from the bottom. Mm. Which is exactly what we want. So we use the red light here because um, as you can see the bees are not really phased by the red light and we can get up nice and personal with them um, they're not flying all over the place these guys are not really defensive So we've got, I would say, 80% of the, the colony in the, the hive box. 
just waiting for these last few to clump up together because we try not to leave, especially with such a small swarm, we'll try not to leave any behind. Going in there, these little Okay, so we on site now we, we're at the concrete hives like I said this is the first time we're using concrete hives um, so this is going to be an interesting one for us uh, what's nice about it is it allows us the opportunity to compare the performance of the bees in these hives compared to the wooden hives and um, also what's what's quite cool is we know we're putting a really really strong swarm in the one uh, concrete hive and then in this one we've got a fairly weak swarm so we're going to be able to monitor them and uh, we'll be able to see whether or not the performance of these hives is better than the performance of the of the wooden hives um, and we'll feed back on that so what we hope to do is just pick out the these frames with the bees on them now yeah place them carefully in there there'll be a few bees on the side of the box and then we'll just bump those guys into the hive sure. as well so that queen okay so so she's she's obviously the main one she she needs to be in there so they will stay yeah 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 um well look if 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 she if she wasn't in there if we didn't get her then what would happen is um these guys actually would just stick around and eventually die off die off yeah sure. um because in this particular case, they don't have any eggs. So there's if, no... If there was comb with eggs in it, mm, then, then they would make a new queen. Yeah. Oh, okay. What we would also do if your apiary was a bit bigger, yeah. is we could take a frame of brood yeah. from a stronger swarm. And add it in. And just add it in and it'll boost the swarm all of a sudden. And they, ex they, they yeah, they, they don't know the difference. No, no. When they get born, they don't know the difference, yeah. And these ones will feed them and everything. Yeah, they okay. look That's interesting. Yeah. That's a real B roll. Yeah, some good old B roll. <laughs> <laughs> 